welcome back to another episode of Water Park Rangers Let's Play Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we did some stuff with the burrow, and during a cutscene, we used some flu powder and ended up here. And it doesn't turn out to be Diagon Alley, it's somewhere else. You want to be careful walking around this place, especially near that hand. If you're running near that hand, it'll blast you with a shockwave that hurts you. This place is kind of dark, so it can be difficult to see. That'll be solved later. And that skull's just there to annoy you. So that shiny scroll is a, a save game scroll. You need to walk up and save because saving's a pretty important part of any game unless you're planning on doing it all in one shot, non-stop. And for a game of this length, it's not really advised. So walk over to this cabinet and open it up to trigger a cutscene. This scene was actually in the book. And I'm kind of surprised it wasn't in the movie because it's done very well in the game. It's Lucius and Draco Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Malfoy. So, obviously, like any good little boy, we have to go out and steal what they've put down in front of them. Anyway, now that we've opened the cabinet for some reason, it can be hard to tell because it's so dark, but a passage actually opens up behind in the cabinet. Don't know why they put that there. Yeah, even her conscience is telling us to steal it. Also, I don't see what's so bad about it. You'll see, it's not like it's a terrible spell or anything. So yeah, you walk by the hand by slowly tilting up on the control stick. Because running running by that hand will blast you with a shockwave. Because, you know, that's what the hand did in the movie, remember? It didn't, I'm just kidding. So, yeah, somehow by the book exploding and going into Harry's head, he learns it. So this is telling you how to use this new spell, Lumos. And how it works is basically you press Z to pause and L and R shift and find that screen. And then you equip it by pressing B and then you can use it. See there are maps and stuff here. It's a lot like Zelda in terms of the way it's all laid out for you. See now by pressing B because we've equipped it, we can just use it at any time. So Lumos creates this little ball of light energy. But it goes out after a short time, so you have to keep recharging it. So bring it around the corner, and as you'll see, it has the function of revealing these hidden passages. And this is actually in our objectives list. <laughs> they went as far as to tell us exactly what we were supposed to do there. And they don't really guide you by the hand all that much. Anyway, there's a little um boss here, I guess you could say. Mm, you could hardly be called that. Okay, there's a weird enemy here, and you just hold down L, you move from side to side to the pasta hit you, and basically you just target him until you can hit him. It's like with the gnomes when you first met them on the rafters. Before we go there, I'm going to go back and grab a treasure chest that you might have seen me pass. The reason I passed it up um, earlier was because I thought we might have gotten hurt. That's a pumpkin pastry, and it will, it will heal, heal your life if you get hurt. So just climb up on top of the cabinet, and that guy is still stumbling around like an idiot. And you can see another one is kind of like caught in a cage, and another one is open. So put two and two together, and this puzzle pretty much solves itself. Just knock the guy out and pick him up. He's pretty much like a normal, and maybe a little bit heavier, because Harry just can't walk as fast in carrying him, I don't think. And then get on the right side of the cage, like right in front of it, and cage the guy. And he'll start screaming like, Arr! but just climb on top of him and go up to the next floor. Not hard at all. That little pedestal there with the shining light. Um, if you press A next to it to call Hedwig, Hedwig will miraculously appear from the sky. And there's this mysterious thing they tell you: Elops Pretty Premium Owl Treats, best for a happy, healthy owl. So, next step is to find one of these owl treats. And conveniently enough, there happens to be one in a treasure chest. 
Oh, shut up, you. And, and go over and open the treasure chest, and you'll see that instead of a wizard card or pumpkin pastry, there's like a rat inside. So, you gotta feed it to Hedwig to encourage the owl to do favors for you. You'll see exactly what this entails. It's pretty crazy. That skull is so annoying, but I don't think we're ever gonna see another one like it in the game, fortunately. Here you go. So you feed Hedwig with it. Here you go. And then Hedwig is suddenly filled with mysterious power and takes flight. Well, Harry just stands there like, oh, what's going on? And she drops a ladder. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. How strong is that owl? Like, really, like, Dumbledore, I remember there's one part where he's like, Phoenixes carry immensely heavy loads. Well, our owl just somehow fit a ladder through that small space. Lifted a giant ladder. Anyway, in the attic, um, yeah, if you step on that floor, you could fall through down to the floor and have to climb all the way back up, and it's kind of annoying. You might also get hurt. So you use Lumos to see those cracks. It sounds like a really weird way to solve this puzzle, but that's how you do it. There's a wizard's car back here, too. Uh, car? Wizard's card. Number 98. There's a double of this card, I think. I'm not sure how I really remember that. 101 wizard's cards. Gotta catch them all. Is there anything through here? Uh, I don't think there is. There's a little bit more broken floor over here, so make sure you have a good Lumos casted so you can see it so you won't fall in. There's a little space there for you to crawl through. That's kind of like Zelda 2. Not Zelda 2. Zelda also. This is not like Zelda 2 at all. Which is a good thing. So that door doesn't work. I this one opens. I guess that other door was just the kind of door that never opens. Why even bother putting one there, then? Alright. So, now this is telling you how to sneak. This might seem kind of pointless, but... You're gonna need to sneak. There is gonna be a large portion of this game that involves stealth. So, it's, in a way, it's sort of like... Harry Potter meets Zelda meets Metal Gear Solid, I guess you could say. So run down here, and you'll see a box. You have to grab it, let go of it. There's a switch behind it. And that opens up a gate all the way back there. This is getting more like Zelda all the time, and it's just going to get more and more like it the further you go in. You can't really, like, um, sneak on these walls when you have Lumos on for some reason, so Flipendo will shut it off, and then you can sneak by. And now that you're back here, might as well check the corner that you didn't check before. There's nothing in it, but the, um, the garbage can has some birdie bots and flavored bees. You might as well grab a few. And now you can explore that little room that you opened up. And there's a treasure chest with yet another wizard's card inside it. Number Gulliver five. Pokebee. Gulliver Pokebee. Interesting guy. And there's a switch there. All these switches have the Hogwarts emblem on them, which is really weird considering I'm pretty sure that Nocturne Alley has very little to do with Hogwarts. Well, maybe before the four founders founded Hogwarts, they were like a switch installation company in the wizarding world. So with that, you've opened this door down here so you can finally go through. I've cut the load time. Um, just because oh, I can. And uh, the door is locked. You can't get back in again. And here's another save scroll. Now you're technically in Diagon Alley at this point. There's a person up here. I'm not going to talk to everyone I meet, but I want to talk occasionally to some people. Did you know that Guild War Lockhart's favorite color is lilac, and that his secret ambition is to rig the world of evil and market his own range of hair care products? <sighs> well, I wish I didn't know. Hurry! All right, this cutscene sometimes Harry, glitches up. You'll see what I mean. Only gone one far place too far. Maybe I it's just my disc. Worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. The blue powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplaces I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? 
That's so kind of you, Harry, but I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion bar from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to <coughs> Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the it heart, into the and heart you and used, used the flu powder. powder. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. He loves to say, thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. Now, really random scene right here. Bye. Is there anything over here that we can get right now? I remember I was telling us, yeah, we gotta get the standard book of spells. Grade 2. We're in second grade. Pretty sure the system here is very different. Oh, I'm just gonna use R here so I can show you. That's Gringotts right there. Interesting details, but so few people ever actually use that button, so they, they miss out on all this stuff. I didn't find it until after I'd played for a while. So here they are. Don't forget to buy your right, she's telling us what to do. From Flourish and Blots, Harry. Gilderoy Lockhart's coming to do a book Yeah, 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 yeah. So Lockhart, Lockhart. Before it gets too busy. Oh, please find my things, Harry. Oh, come on. We can't go do both of them at once. Make up your mind. So I'm going to show you the load time here just because. Um, this area is kind of interesting because the load time shows that little monster in the corner. Looks kind of like a Heartless from Kingdom Hearts. Don't know if you've ever played that, but it's worth checking out. So this is a library. There really isn't an anything of interest in here, unfortunately. How so you just gotta grab the spell the book. Standard book of spells, grade two, by Miranda Goshhawk. Ah, now that would be one sickle. One I'd sickle. Like buy that, please. Fantastic. Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. So basically, this book gives you ability to hold down any of your spells to charge them, and then when you release them, they'll be more powerful the longer you hold them down. But if you hold them down for too long, they'll explode on you. Basically, that'll just knock you over, and then the spell won't do what it's supposed to. So, don't get too power hungry is the basic well, Harry, lesson here. Book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Jake's. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my spell tape. So I think that must be in the Leaky Cauldron. Hmm. Magical menagerie, Gamble and Jake's, and the Leaky Cauldron. Got it. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yeah, I'm expecting a chocolate frog in return. Thanks so much. Show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. Yeah, so two barrels there. These small special barrels um, can only be smashed. Okay, so here's telling you the different things that you have to find and where to find them. We have a few things to do. First, let's smash these and um, get some more sickles, because we're going to be needing some more sickles in order to buy the, uh, the vial from Mole Peppers a little bit later. But it costs a little bit more, so you have to find these sickles by smashing them in the barrels that they're that, that they come in. There are quite a lot of them around the right corner here. So much destruction. And there are even more up the steps that way. So, let's go get them. It's kind of an odd reason to give you the spell book in order to smash those barrels, because really, you don't need to charge down spells to break them. You just have to tap to, to break them like any, any normal attack. So, we're going to get these last few, then I'm going to save. And next episode, we are going to go get all three of Ginny's lost items and buy that vial we've been wanting. See you later.